Hello everyone, I hope you're going well. Today we are going to talk about how to work on your chest. So actually, when you are around 800, 1000 level rated, it's important just to know some fundamentals of, checks, uh, of chess. For example, how to checkmate with a queen and a rook, or a queen against a king, a rook against a king, two bishops and so on. What I can promise you is that if you're a complete beginner to chess, there is my other YouTube channel in the description. You can go check this, this YouTube channel out. You'll learn a lot of things about chess in approximately one or two minutes per video. So go check this out. But for the other ones who are already pretty strong at chess, um, my way to work on chess is pretty, pretty strange, honestly. I remember probably... A month ago, because I'm playing chess since four years, actually, since 2019, so for, for four years. And what I did for four years is that I only did a lot of tactics before playing, and then somehow I just changed my training method, and I just started to work a lot, and I didn't play any games. So I, I started to feel pretty sad because, yeah, I, somehow I didn't enjoy playing chess. It was too much competitive and not enough of, of play. And that's why I can just offer you or propose you a, a good training method. So if you want to work on strategy, tactics, and so on, you just need to play a game and to stay concentrated. For example, if you play a long game, a rapid game on, on, on chess.com or on eChess, you will always play against some cheaters. This is normal. But we do not care about this. Just think about that. If you play against a cheater, you will, in every case, get your rating points back. And if it's not a cheater, it's just a very good player, and he played like an engine because he's just a good player, it's a good lesson, because there are thousands of players who are a lot, lot stronger than you are. In order to understand this correctly, we can talk about tennis. You know, there is a ranking in tennis, a ranking system which is called ATP, ATP ranking, yeah, and so on. There's an ATP ranking, which is international, and there are many national ratings. For example, in Germany, LK, uh, categories in France, and so on and so on. And the thing is, in tennis, in order to get an ATP point, you have, in order to get your first ATP, ATP point, you have to win a whole future tournament. It is a qualification tournament. You have to win that in order to get your first ATP point. And when you get your first ATP point, you are around, around 1,200 in the world, something like that. For the moment, there are approximately 1,500 people rated in tennis. I mean, ATP rated. And these players are the best players in the world, even though they are rated 1,000 in the world. Why? Because just to get there, you have to be one of the best in your country. And that is not easy. So you, you have to understand that there will always be someone who is stronger than you, stronger on a long, in the long term, in the short term, or even, for example, during a game. For example, I played a chess game uh, a month ago uh, during a good chess tournament in France, which will open if you, want to, if you want to try this open out. And I played against a grandmaster. His name is uh, Michael Hauck. Uh, he's from Germany. And we played a game. I played with the black pieces, and I just crushed him. I just crushed him and I played a lot, lot better than he did. I managed to play very good practically. I calculated better. I was tactically better than him. And somehow in the game, we reached an end game in which he has two pawns and I have a knight and we have three pawns on the king's side. And what we did is that we looked at each other and then I saw that he had only, I don't know, 40 seconds, something like that. We still had a rook, uh, both we had a rook, and he just understood, because he has a better knowledge of chess, then trading the rooks would give him a chance to draw the game. And actually, it was the best moves, and it, it, he played all the best moves, even though he had only a few seconds on, the, on his clock. And I just saw that thanks to his technique, his experience, the, the fact that he played a lot of games, he's just stronger than me. And I couldn't do anything. The position was just a complete draw. And actually, I had to be careful because the knight could even lose against the pawns. And he managed to, to save the draw. It's not that he saved the draw. He just understood it's a draw. 
a lot more earlier than I understood that. So he just showed me that playing games is enough because he's not working on chess anymore. He's a grandmaster. He doesn't want to, to, to train chess anymore. He had to do that. But when we talked together, he, he explained to me that why does he need to work on his chess? Playing games is just enough. Playing them, analyzing them, and during the analyze, you will always find a, a good strategical ideas thanks to, uh, thanks to the engine or to a trainer or even like that. You will just ask yourself, oh, and what happens if I play this move? It looks great because I'm controlling this file and this file or this square and this square. Uh-huh, but probably there is a tactical problem. And you can only work on strategy and tactics by analyzing your games that way. And for example, right now, we have a typical the typical puzzle on chess.com. I'm rated only 2600 because I, I I have a premium account since since two days ago. Uh, how can we manage to do a puzzle like that? We can't because we are not thinking. I'm not thinking about this position. I don't know what I have to play. For example, I see that the king is weak. Probably a check is good in order to bring the rook on the other side. But at the same time, I have to be careful because there are some pressure. Okay, I'm down a lot of material. Okay, now it's time to think. Oh. I can actually have a draw because check this and check and so on. And if he goes that way, then check, 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 check. Probably this is the answer. Boom, that is the answer. Oh, and if he goes that way, probably this is just check, check. And I don't know exactly because the king can actually escape and I do not see any any more checks. So probably I have to check that way. And then, and then if he goes there, then check. And oh, he can just take. And oh, I can just take the knight. And um, okay, this is again very complicated. Mm -hmm, I have to think. And thinking is the only way for you to improve. If you watch, for example, a middle game a lesson on, on, on YouTube or, or on chess.com website, I don't know what, you can see a lot of information, but you have to play a game. I, I have a friend, his name is Alexandre. Uh, he's a, actually, he won a regional tournament a few years ago. That's actually, that's, he's the reason why I do play chess a lot, and why I actually started playing chess. He was rated 1500 when I started playing chess. Now I'm rated around uh, 2000, FIDE. And he was rated 1500 he ho his whole life. I mean, FIDE rating. And now we started to work together, to play together and so on. And he's 1800. Why? Because he just works in his chess correctly. What does he do? He just watch some lesson on, on YouTube and then he play a lot of games. Now he's rated around 2400 in classical chess in, on, on chess.com. And yeah. He's just a normal person who plays chess and enjoys chess. And then he's just playing good chess. And that is just normal. So yeah, I don't know why I actually recorded this uh, this whole video. But if you want me to, to be your chess coach, there is still my Fiverr account in the description. See you in a future upload. Take care. Oh, and by the way, before, before we end this, I have to look for the answer. Actually, I think this check is just devastating because if he goes that way, that is just made. And if he goes back. Oh, wait a second. If I if he goes back and I do have a draw, I don't know if it's the answer or not. Yes, it is. Your pure dollar. And now check again and I pick up the knight. Kurva. This is just a draw because of the rooks. Yeah, actually, I was too too fast. It's just a draw. I'm just down a lot of material. This is just a complete draw. Yeah, pretty stupid for myself. Uh, what is the theme? I don't know. Let's just analyze this position. It's, it's still important for me to analyze positions and to understand if it's a draw or not. What's this? The engine? Probably a draw. Actually, it's winning. It's actually it's a draw. Ah, okay. No, it's a draw. And if he goes back, then again, I have thousands of checks and this is just a complete draw. Okay, good to know. See you in a future upload. Take care.